Have you guys ever heard of the Bounty La Sour? I bet most of you do because the majority of you guys at the moment I'm shooting this video came to our channel because of that video. Today, the special uh, episode that we have is something that we've never done before. So there is this guy named Jean Felix who is in Montreal. Is he in Montreal or Quebec? Well, anyway, he decided to challenge me to a cocktail challenge. All right, so let's say that you're from another planet and never heard of the educated barfly. That would be very surprising, but it is possible. So what you could do that would be very appreciated is to wait the end of this video, then click the link up here and watch the video. Give them a thumbs up, subscribe to their channel because the educated barfly is a crazy good library of amazing cocktails. And while you had it, why not subscribe to our channel if you're not already? That would be very appreciated as well. All right, so as you watch in the clip that I showed you, I challenged the educated barfly to create a cocktail that could play tricks on you. A cocktail that would be at the same time very fresh and very smoky, either smoky nose and refreshing taste or the other way around. And he created the Bounty Lock cocktail. From the specs, it looks amazing, but today we're gonna make it and we're gonna judge it together. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so welcome back to this channel. Thank you very much for joining me again. It is the first time we're doing this. We're recreating a cocktail from another channel. I think it's gonna be very fun. So today we're doing the Bounty La Sour from the Educated Barfly, a cocktail Leandro created after I challenged him to create a cocktail that would be smoky and refreshing at the same time. So he came up with this one called the Bounty La Sour. The specs of the cocktail sounds amazing. It looks like it fulfills the uh, challenge I gave him. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is bourbon, lemon juice, orange juice, some kind of orange liquor that we're gonna work a little bit, Lapsan Souchong tea, which I'm gonna tell you how to make, and an egg white. So if you guys are ready, let's make it and see how it tastes. His recipe calls for an ounce and a half of overproof bourbon. So use the bourbon of your choice as long as it's uh, at least 100 proof. There we go, an ounce and a half of that. Three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of Lapsan Souchong tea. So what you're gonna need for the Lapsan Souchong syrup is actually five grams of Lapsan Souchong, which is a very smoked black tea. And you're gonna let that infuse in one cup of hot water for about three minutes. Then you're gonna strain it, add a cup of granulated sugar, stir it until it is all dissolved, and you're gonna bottle it back and you're gonna have your smoked tea syrup. And then you're gonna add half an ounce of orange juice. Always use fresh juice, like remember if it comes in a plastic bottle, it's no good. And you're gonna use half an ounce of uh, orange liqueur. So for the orange liqueur, Leandro calls for an Amaro called Amaro Angeleno, which is a very orange forward uh, Amaro coming from California. He says that you can also swap that uh, for uh, some kind of triple sec or orange curacao with a few drops of orange bitters. When I went on their website and I looked at the specs and they say it's an orange forward Amaro with some kind of herbs and botanicals such as chamomile, oregano, thyme and anise. So I infused a triple sec with a little bit of chamomile, oregano, star anise, a few drops of orange bitters and uh, wormwood. So I'm going to put the specs and the uh, ingredients quantity in the descriptions down below. So if you want to replicate the uh, Bounty La Sour without having the Amaro Angeleno, I highly recommend you try this recipe. And then last but not least, for a nice frothy sour, you need an egg white. All right, so once this is done, the only thing left we have to do is to fill that shaker with ice, give it a very good shake, and try it. So let's go. All right, and now for the garnish, we're gonna spray a little bit of Angostura on top. Uh, Leandro made a little stencil and I have done it. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Angostura on top of it. And that's it guys, the Bounty La Sour. Let's give it a try. So 
So the nose is actually quite aromatic with the Angostura. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. I want to go back right away. Oh yeah, this is very good. So, I asked Cleandro to create a cocktail that could play tricks on you. Something that would be refreshing in taste and smoky in nose, or having a very smoky taste but refreshing on the nose. I think this one has it all. So you have a little bit of that, uh, I don't know, like bonfire kind of smell. And then you try it and it's right away bourbon, bold and refreshing. And then you get that smoke that it's coming through, the citrus, um, the orange adds actually very interesting flavor pairing with the smoke uh, of the tea. Mm. Yeah, I really like it. I think I'm gonna make myself more than one of that. Oh yeah, and before I end this video, of course when I challenged Leandro with a cocktail, he challenged me back. And he challenged me with creating a cocktail with Umeshu, which is a plum sake wine from Japan. And I was planning on making the video today, but when I went to the liquor store yesterday to get a bottle, they were out of it. But I was lucky enough to have a friend in Quebec City that does private importation of Japanese product, and he was kind enough to lend me a bottle. So after this video on 17 of February uh, 2020, I'm running to see him and he's gonna give me a bottle so I can make some tests and uh, next week I'm gonna make the cocktail to respond to your challenge my friend so I'm really curious to see what I'm gonna come up with because honestly I never tried to make you in my entire life so I can't wait to see what the result is gonna be I hope you guys are gonna like it I hope you Leandro are gonna like it as well uh, that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the like button give me a little comment if you want that would be greatly appreciated and don't forget the link here to uh, subscribe to educate the Barflies channel as well. So have a wonderful weekend, guys. See you next week at the challenge. Cheers.